Chicana, Chicano, uh, to me means more of a uh, more of a philosophy than ethnicity. Uh, For me, to be a Chicana, it's um, being happy, proud of who I am as a human being. To be the term Chicana stands for my identity and having political consciousness. It's like water. You know, you know, you know what it tastes like, uh, but you can't really put your fingers on it. And, and, and so you make it whatever you want it to make it, you know? You do whatever you want with it. It means to be American, have Mexican descent, and be proud of that Mexican descent and to acknowledge it. There's just no, no specific answer to it. It's just like impossible to have, like, to tell you exactly pinpoint, you know, like this is a checklist and this is what a Chicano is. It's more like something that you find in yourself, you know, and it's your, like, um, like kind of like, like your search for your identity and who you are. part-time instructor around 1986 and at that time I believe there were about seven, not more than ten majors, um, that many minors. Um, once I saw that the uh, university, uh, the people here were serious about um, making something more permanent and then I, I cast my lot uh, with the program and decided that the uh, program should become a department. It, it Once granted departmentalization status in 1994, the Chicana Chicano Studies Department continued a journey that has led it to the third floor of La Court Hall. The department now consists of three full-time faculty members and several adjunct faculty members. The department works very closely with Africana Studies, Asian Pacific Studies, Women's Studies, and Conflict Resolution and Peace Building, all under the Division of World Cultural Studies. Uh, my name is Dr. Irene Vasquez, and I'm the chair of the Chicana Chicano Studies Department. I began the chair position in January of 2004. First and foremost, we have a very strong academic program and we've grown the number of courses, we've uh, increased the diversity of the courses, and we're also more involved in the general education program. And all of that's very positive because it means that our numbers will continue to grow. Hi, my name is Dr. Monica Rosa Spains. I am a part-time lecturer. My name is Jose Lopez Morin. Um, I'm an associate professor here. My name is Javier Amaya. Well, my name is Marta Gonzalez. I'm team teaching a class uh, with uh, Professor Claybrook in African Studies, which we're both very excited about. Uh, it's the first time that the departments are team, team teaching a course. Um, so it's, I think it's going to be great to merge the Chicano students together with, uh, with some of the African Studies majors. <laughs> teaching a class on Chicano music in the U.S. and uh, I was brought aboard to uh, strengthen the uh, musical artistic side of the department. And, and the way I look at it is the sky's the limit.
The department's commitment to student success is reflected in the massive increase from 37 majors in 2004 to 85 majors this academic year, 2007. Student prioritization has sparked a growing interest in Chicana Chicano studies at Dominguez Hills. Even to this day, I still recommend the department in the undergraduate program. Um, I, I always talk about how great a great sense of community exists in our department and among our students. Um, I transferred from a community college to Dominguez Hills and um, it was a, a bit of an easier transition for me. But for a freshman, I think that sense of community is really important in helping you to get through the first year of your um, college program or your college um, education. The mentorship that I received here uh, by some of the professors really helped me write a proposal, uh, write an abstract, and really guided me towards what, what would make me a better candidate for a graduate school. Academically, um, having declared myself a Chicano Studies major um, motivated me, encouraged me to um, continue on with my education. I'm married, um, I have a family, a growing family, and um, being among a supportive faculty, staff, and um, the students in the department has really encouraged me to continue on to pursue my education. And because of that, I'm now graduating, getting a master's, and hopefully will be accepted to UCLA and continue on and get a PhD. Chicano Studies focuses on literature, you could do history, you could do language, um, you could do gender studies, so I would definitely recommend it because it gives you more of an opportunity to go outside and really study other, uh, other areas that prepares you more for, for the future. I think it's a positive in the sense of Chicago State Department. Uh, here at the Mini so specifically, but Chicago State Department as a whole in general, they're kind of validating our knowledge and our knowledge systems. Um, I guess I could say that um, the field of Chicano Chicano Studies in general um, emphasizes our experience as Chicanos and Chicanos within our community. So since it does, and I think that the field of Chicano Chicano Studies helps us better understand um, our situation within the community. The department also works closely with student organizations, Latinas Juntas, Mecha, Al Frente Graduate Studies Association, Chicano Studies Association, Espíritu de Nuestro Futuro, and help sponsor activities on campus such as Día de los Muertos at Dominguez Hills and the Dolores Huerta Graduation Celebration. Um, the department has helped Mecha with, um, with a lot of support and pro students. As Latinos, we, we have large families, but sometimes we can't, you know, invite them on toward graduation because at the time I think uh, there was a limited amount of tickets that the school would provide us. It was brought to my attention in the spring of 2005. And um, we got together and we decided to put something together to help the Chicanos and the Latinos on this campus in order for us to celebrate our own um, triumph, I guess, through coming through um, or getting a degree. Uh, thanks to the co-sponsorship cool with uh, the Department of Chicano Studies, uh, we, um, we were able to get a class, a Chicano Studies class, and organize within the class uh, the conference and get students involved in the class and my organization at the same time. And the conference is basically um, educating the community about what the law AB540 is. The professors are great, they're great mentors, and they kind of guide you through the step. So for me personally, I felt that their mentoring and their guidance led me to pursue a master's degree and believe that I was capable of doing it.